Hey yo fellow investors, how are you doing? My name is Stein and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're taking another look at one of my favorite hyper growth stocks to buy now. Quartomic, which trades under these ticker symbols. Although I wouldn't hold it against you if you don't, maybe you remember from my last video on Quartomic that my main grudge with this company is their communications to the outside world. And Quartomic as a company has improved leaps and bounds ever since. So obviously the first thing we'll talk about is their new updated website. Second, we'll dig through their new and shiny investors presentation. Third, what the improved communications mean for the company heading to the future. Hint, twin engines. Do make sure to stick around for this part because it's going to be juicy. And lastly, we'll take a few of the updated value proposition I see. Expect price predictions well into the future and my own buy targets. Now, let's go. So let's take a peek at our website now. And by the way, this was updated just last month. And it's really sad I don't know the pictures from the previous website to compare this one to. But let me tell you, this one is really professional compared to the last one. So this is the new website, and as you can see, it looks pretty professional. And if you scroll down together, we can see the company's goals. One of the first thing we see are their goals. This is really strong. So for 2021, it's commissioning of Arkham, it's their Namibian project, and it's also a vertical integration with their ALD coating. And for 2022, they plan to take Arkham solar. So this is really strong. We can see the goals of this company, one of the first things we'll see. And then next up, it's the two projects that Cartomic has claims to. So Arkham in Namibia and Buckingham in Quebec, Canada. And below that, we can see the extremely strong partnership Cartomic has been able to make. So for example, with Forge Nano and Todek. And if we scroll further down, we get to their investors presentation. So let's go to that now. So this will repeat with Whitman opening investor presentation and looks really strong. And the first real page we see is the About Us page, which is a great overview of this company. It really shows the strengths of this company. It's the largest Thane graphite supplier on earth. It's fully licensed and will start out with 20,000 tons per annum from starting this year. They also hint at the preliminary feasibility study, which is awesome news because we were expecting a preliminary economic assessment. This is better. They also show that they are debt free and enjoy a cash surplus, which is awesome for a junior mining company. And then they continue to talk about their exceptional anode material and their competitive advantage, which is a cleaner, higher performance lithium ion battery anode alternative. And remember, this is one of the first things an investor or even a potential partner sees. And this is really strong. So on this page, they summarize why graphite is in high demand for years to come. And by the way, if this interests you, I've done a whole video on anode materials specifically. So check out this video linked in the top right corner if this interests you. And this is where they show their plans. So 20,000 tons per annum starting from this year. Also fully solar by 2022, which is awesome. And they will also use water purification, which is kind of a jab at flake graphite producers, since those producers will use dangerous chemicals. And Gratomic obviously won't with water purification. They also outlay that they will do five times the current availability of flake graphite. So currently flake graphite is mainly coming from Sri Lanka and once Cryptomic will come in line, they will increase the world supply of vein graphite by five times. And they continue to outline why graphite is in such high demand. So 70% of the total battery mass in an electric vehicle and between 5 kg in a hybrid, hybrid vehicle to 100 kgs in a full electric vehicle. So this is why we're investing in graphite. And that of course leads us to the products that Cortonic will produce. So the first one is SG16, which is the main product to focus on. This is what's being used in adult materials in batteries. And they will also produce a couple of other materials which will be used for different use cases outlined here. And these are the applications for these products. So the main one is of course lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles, but also in any other device. Um, graphite is also used in solar panels, so for solar farms and battery storage. And this is a really big one, water filtration. So graphene, which is traditionally made out of graphite, can be used to filter water, which is an awesome use case. And I advise you to research this yourself if this interests you. And they've hinted at this before, that they were debt free currently. But we can see from their cash position that they've increased it a lot across the last couple of years. Also, they've been able to increase the assets a lot, decrease their liabilities, 
Therefore, those two combined shareholders equity has increased leaps and bounds as well. And I also want to talk about shortly their risk factors page. And they are legally obliged to say this, so take it with a grain of salt as well. But they have to outline that they haven't done a feasibility study. So just know that this company hasn't done the public de-risking that a normal junior mining company does. So just be aware that the company has omitted the more traditional hoops and do research this yourself. So overall, I'm really impressed with their updated website and their new investors presentation. And I think this is a great way of showcasing their competitive advantages and the investment opportunity. But why do I think this is so important and what does this mean for the future of Gratomic? Well, there's this principle I think really highly of, and I gained that insight from this book, the book on 100 beggars from Christopher Mayer. And the insight that I am talking about is that the companies have returned the largest over a longer period of time, so for example, 100 times for every single dollar invested. Well, those companies are powered by twin engines. And that means that their share price increases because of two main factors. So the first one is a growing business. And this one is quite easy to understand. And I think that most people that are watching this video will probably understand this as well. But the second way to increase the stock price of a company is expanding PE ratios. And this one is slightly more tricky. But this basically means that a company goes from overlooked and undervalued to highly praised and overvalued, or from a low PE multiple to a high PE multiple. So when a company has a twin engine setup, aside from the company itself growing exponentially, the market will also rate the business more highly in the future. And I really think this can happen with Protomic. So if we look at the American stock, so Seabulf, we can see that their market cap is only trading at $150 million. And compared to the numbers we'll see shortly during the Bytarks part of this video, we'll see that this is tiny. And that's maybe rightfully so. Like we've seen during the investor's presentation, the company hasn't really de-risked itself publicly. See, for an investor to want to overpay for a company, the company needs to have a great story that's told everywhere clearly and concisely. And in the past, I just didn't really see that with Gratomic. But maybe in the future we will. I think with all the steps Gratomic has been making with their increased communications, with their new website, and especially the new investor presentation, they've improved their story a lot. And if they can continue improving their communications while also increasing shareholders' equity and growing their business, well, I'll be right there to catch the twin engine in action. And I think that brings me to the value proposition and buy target I see for Gratomic. So the company we are obviously talking about is Gratomic, ticker symbol Seabill. And we're expecting them to do about 80,000 tons of fan graphite and about 20,000 tons of NL materials in the future. So these two at fair prices, which are conservative, will result in about a total revenue of $400 million in 2025 and onwards. So if we take that number, $400 million in future revenue for the year 2025, it's currently 2021, and we'll assume a share dilution per year of about 1%. This is also conservative because the company has stated that they will not dilute their shares, but we're assuming slight dilution. Also a future price sales ratio of five and a discount rate of 15%. And this are just used for every single company I invest in. Oh, and by the way, this 15% as a discount rate is really conservative. The higher the number, the more conservative your calculations are. A lot of people only take about 8%, and that is because that is the average of the S&P 500. But Wall Street, for example, uses about 2 to 3%, since that's seen as risk-free. So 15% is really conservative. Anyways, $400 million times five, the price of sales rate of the future results in a future market cap of about $2 billion. They currently have about 155 million shares outstanding. So that diluted to 1% per year results in a future shares outstanding of 161 million shares. 2 billion divided by 161 million results in a future share price of about 12 so according to these calculations, Gratomic could go up to $12 per share before 2025. And that discounted at 15% per year results in an intrinsic value today of about $7. And of course, people are not paying that for the company because there are quite a few risks still with the company. And we'll not pay that number either. We'll be taking a margin of safety of 85%, which I think is really conservative. 
On normal growth stocks, I take about a 50% margin of safety, which is already seen as extremely conservative. So 85 is quite safe. But that results in a buy target of about $1.06. We could also change this margin of safety to about 75% and that results in a buy target of about $1.77. So it just depends on your personal risk tolerance, but according to my opinions and these calculations, Gratomix seems to be a great buy at about $1.06. So to summarize these calculations, I personally see Gratomix going up to about $12.50 before 2025. And I also think this company is a great buy below $1.06. But of course, around the $1.10 mark is fine as well. Anyways, I think that's it. Please keep in mind that I am no financial advisor. So these are all just my opinions. And you should treat them as such. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and maybe even subscribe. Comment down below what you want to talk about next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.